Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be another monthly favorites. It's sort of my November, December favorites because I didn't do one last month. But this is my favorite time of the year. Um, it's a little bit different to celebrate this time of the year when I have a child. Um, it's been very magical. Uh, we went on vacation about a week ago so we went to the Maldives that's where my husband's from we visited relatives so a lot of the favorites I have uh, have to do with my trip there I celebrated my birthday on the beach it was like a magical sunset on the beach so I have some footage I'll try to put them together for you guys but I've got lots of photos on Instagram so if you haven't followed me there make sure you do I've got some cool stuff to show you let's get started with the makeup items first of all this is Max Laying Low Paint Pot. Um, this is an eyeshadow base and you could use it to just kind of um, neutralize the colors on your eyes if you have dark eye circles like myself. I just loved using this in Maldives and just throughout the months because it was really really easy to just put onto my eyelids and just blend it out really quickly and it just made such a big difference between putting it on and not having it at all and all I had to do was to put this on and put some eyeliner and I'm good to go. So this particular colour suits my skin tone very well. Um, it makes it just look really really natural. So um, the weather in Maldives was really really hot. Um, it's much hotter than Singapore and it's a lot lot more humid than Singapore. So I had very very minimal makeup on and I brought a lot of eyeshadows to play around with etc to create looks but I did not have the time, the energy, I just didn't feel like it. Most of the time when I was in the resort I actually didn't have any makeup on, I just had my eyebrows on and I had this. Um, this is the Marc Jacobs Gel Eyeliner Crayon. I got it in the shade Brown Out. I didn't want to get it in black because I knew that I wanted to just create like a raccoon type of look and black would be a little bit too stark for me so I've heard a lot of good things about this gel liner it was a little bit pricey I think it's like 30 or 40 ish dollars but I decided to just kind of invest in it it's very long wearing it's just so easy to glide onto your eyelids or beneath your um, eye onto your lower lids as well it's just really really easy to apply this particular color is dark brown but it does have little specks of silver and gold gold glitter on it that makes it look really really pretty. Literally just put it onto my eyes. You can just create a slight wing there and then you put it on your lower lids and just kind of connect the two and it just gives like a put together look. The best part is you don't have to sharpen which is amazing. You just have to twist this little end here and as a contact lens user even though I had it on my lower eyelids it was comfortable like I don't feel any irritation whatsoever. Moving on to the next one is concealer. <laughs> I didn't have any foundation or face base when I was there again because it was just so hot. Um, this is my all-time favorite studio finish concealer so I must have featured this I think at least three to four times in my favorite videos this year. If you need to get one concealer, this is the concealer that I would recommend you to get. This particular version, I don't know, I didn't, I don't need a corrector, I don't need a brightener, I just put it on and it just looks flawless compared to the side that doesn't have it on. And it's just so easy to use. You could use your fingers and I just use the brush to just kind of quickly do it under my eyes. And I also put it um, under my nose where I have a little bit of redness and under my lips where I have a little bit of darkness. This is just really, really great for color correcting in general, no matter what color you need to correct. On top of that concealer, I just put some powder on and that was all I had. That's what I have on at the moment as well. I don't have any foundation on or anything. Move on to lips. Um, I recently, if you watched my recent haul, I bought a lot of liquid lipstick and you know I've tried so many liquid lipsticks so far. I, I try to try um, one from each brand. It takes a lot for a liquid lipstick to wow me at this point because to be honest all of them start to feel the same. They're kind of all good which is like here so in order for you to really like 
blow my mind you either have to be like on top here or you really really need to disappoint me and you fall below here this particular one um i was just wowed and it is the charlotte tilbury hollywood lips liquid lipstick this is a duo that i got as part of their christmas collection so they have one um dark nude color and they have one rosier color this darker one that i like is called shogul the difference between this and the other liquid lipsticks that I've tried is it's almost, I don't know, it looks very moussey. It's not liquidy at all, it's very moussey and if you want a very subtle look, you just kind of have to put it on your bottom lip, which is what I did today. By the way, today I have on the full size version. This is something I got from their advent calendar and this is in the color Screen Siren. So I thought I'll wear red today because of the festive season. So you just put one coat onto your lower lip and you just kind of have to purse your lips together and just touch up a little bit but it's just a really nice powdery feel that you have to your lips and just feels really really comfortable to move on to hand cream and this hand cream I brought it from the office to home because this is a hand cream I actually use in the office it's something that my future sister-in-law gifted to me when I wanted to go back to work for maternity from maternity and I thought it was like the sweetest gift and this is the hand cream from a soap uh, she says that this is her favorite as well the smell of it when I first smell it it's not the kind of smell that I generally like so it's not flowery or sweet it's very herbally, it's very minty, it's very fresh, it's very healthy smelling. So my nails were getting really really dry especially at the cuticles because I removed my gel nails uh, for the first time in like I don't know a few months I was wearing gel nails over and over again and my nails were just dreadful so I decided you know what I'm gonna put some hand cream on in the office and I did and I fell in love with this product right there and there it is a huge bottle I think they have a slightly smaller bottle or they have a much bigger one and then they have the the pump so for people who love these products they really really love it so I just have to put very little product in there the reason why I don't like hand creams is because every time after I put them on they leave a very sticky feeling on my hands and I just feel I hate that feeling because I feel like I can't do anything with my hands I need to wash off so all the hand creams that I've tried before this give me that feeling but this one it doesn't it dries I mean within a couple of minutes it dries up and you barely feel it on your hands you don't realize that you're having hand uh, you're, you're putting on hand cream and it really works in hydrating your hands so I've just been putting this like every day once or twice a day and I've been recommending this to a lot of my colleagues who really love the scent as well I've also been trying to hydrate my body as well because when I came back from the Maldives I felt like my body was a little bit dry so we popped into body shop we got these body lotions and I really love the scents of both it's just coincidence that they are both green this one is the uh, scent that I used all the time in body butter form when I was pregnant and I basically used it on my belly so I really liked it the only thing about the body butter is that you know you kind of I don't know it's not inconvenient but you have to take out the um, you have to take out the lid and you have to scoop up the product blah 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 um, this I just found it um, a little bit more convenient and for someone like me who's very lazy this is just easier for me to just pump into my hand I got this holiday version as well which is the peppermint candy cane and it smells so Christmassy it smells so cute it smells like peppermint candy cane what can I say I've just really been liking this even my husband's like mm, you smell really sweet today last beauty item is this night serum last time I would put like eye cream and like little little creams I do still do that but most of the time I try to just stick to one serum that does everything so I have fallen back in love with this cult favorite this is the Estee Lauder advanced night repair serum this is the mini size is really tiny if you're looking for an all-rounder night serum you don't have any particular area that you really want to be concerned with but you just want to wake up with better skin um, 
I highly recommend checking this out. It is a little bit pricey, but it's not like as pricey as like your La Mer or your La Prairie. Um, but it's definitely not drugstore prices. It's like a hundred ish, I think. At least for this small bottle, I think it was like eighty eight dollars. But it's so worth it. Try it out. Um, even when I have like spots on my face, I don't really have a pimple cream anymore. Um, I just put this on, and my skin just generally feels a lot better the next days. So, um, this. Second last item is a long-term favourite of mine. It is my Longchamp, um, I think this is in a size medium. This is the Model de Pose. So this is the medium size that I have that I always carry travelling and I did so when I went to the Maldives again and I just want to say this is an amazing bag. This is the one that's in nylon, I think. It is just such a sturdy bag. Inside is just wide open, um, it has a little flap here. I was basically traveling everywhere with it. Um, we went to the, we went through the airport with it and I just like that you could carry on the handle and if I were to just carry it cross body, which is what I need all my bags to be with, that's how it looks cross body on me. It doesn't weigh anything, so it's just a really, really good bag. I mean, this bag has been through a lot and like it's still in amazing, amazing condition. So I just, you know, this is definitely my top three favorite bags of all time. I just love it so much. So if you're looking for a travel bag, highly recommend it. Or just a bag in general, I recommend that. Okay, last thing is a very frivolous thing. Um, it's my new tattoo. I got a tattoo there. Huh, it looks a little bit odd. Okay, so the reason why it looks like this is because I put it on myself. So this is my temporary tattoo. I was scrolling through Instagram uh, the other day and I saw like, oh, there's this ad for Inkbox, uh, which is essentially, I don't know, it's very... It works like henna, whereby it's like a stain. It's not um, a stencil or it's not stickers that's placed onto your arms like the olden days where we want tattoos. So, here's the thing. My religion doesn't allow me to have tattoos because, you know, um, it alters the way that God has created your body, although I have changed a lot about my body. But let's face it, tattoos are cool. Um, I've always wanted one, um, but even I think, even if I was allowed to have one, I don't know whether I would because it's just such a big commitment. If you guys are like me as well, or if you can't make up your mind whether you want to have a tattoo, I highly recommend it. So this, um, this design here, it's very bad, bad, badly placed, but this design here has been on for about a week. Um, this is how it looks like up close. So the stain is definitely wearing off. Um, it's slowly coming out from the skin. And when it was like the second day, it was super, super obvious. So the look of it looks like a tattoo, especially if it's on the first, uh, the second or third day. It doesn't look super sharp, but it just looks like you've had that tattoo for like a really, really long time. Um, so anyway, the tattoos come in these um, boxes. I bought a few um, and they last me at least for about one to two weeks. Uh, the application, it can be a little bit tricky at the beginning but after a while we kind of got used to it. The whole stuff comes with everything that you need here. So this is the other design that I got um, and I just really really like it. I highly recommend it if you want to um, see how it feels like to have one um, and it looks real. It looks legit. Each Tattoo is about thirty sing dollars, uh, so it is a little bit pricey. But for what it is, I think it's actually quite worth it. Uh, I just like the 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 thing here, temporary bad decision. So yeah, that's that. That's like a little frivolous thing. I feel a bit weird because I feel like a thirty three year old girl should not be telling you about temporary tattoos, but it's something that I'm excited about. So. Anyway, those are the favorites for the month. I covered off a lot of things, so I hope you guys found that useful. If you did, don't forget to click on the thumbs up button and subscribe. And take care. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!